Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. In this week's video, I'm going to show a new technology from Autodesk called Autodesk Configurator 360. So, what is Configurator 360? It's a cloud-based, online tool where Autodesk Inventor and Autodesk ETO files can be uploaded. They can then be configured via a web interface within rules created by the designer. Ultimately, an end user can download these files or can create an RFQ so if they wish to purchase this item in that configuration, they can do so. But that's enough talk. Let's see how it works. Here, I'm starting on the Configurator 360 landing page. Notice that there is a How to Get Started and Learn More button, so I can learn more about this from here. In my case, I'm going to go to the Designs tool. And here I can upload a new design by clicking the New Design button. I can give this assembly a name. I can also give a format that I wish to upload. In this case, I'm going to choose IAM zipped. I can give a name to the top level assembly. And then choose the file I'm going to upload, which is that zipped inventor assembly. Choosing upload. Configurator 360 will now go ahead and upload the file. Once it's uploaded, it's going to show that this is a pending view and I may need to refresh my page, and I'll go ahead and do that. Now, it's gone ahead, it's refreshed, and I can see the link where I can find that file. I can also choose to edit it. Here, I can make changes and change access. For example, I may wish to go to unrestricted viewing, I may also wish to add a description, and I could choose whether I'm going to exclude this in a catalog or not. I'm going to go with these settings for now and carry on to my parameter screen. Now that I'm in my parameter screen, I can change the display name, the units, any initial values, set a minimum or maximum value for a parameter, state whether a parameter is read only or not, and then finally, DOP is display of precision. So how precise do I want to make this particular parameter? Once this is all set, I can go back to my list of designs, and then I can take my link and go ahead and see my design inside of Configurator 360. Now that the file is open in Configurator 360, I can change any values I want, see the updates on screen, and also download any of the files in the formats that I see where I'm moving my cursor right now. So there it is, taking a design, putting it in Configurator 360, and then changing it and downloading it as well. So that's it. Go ahead and take a look and see if this is something that can help you out. That's it for this video, and thank you for watching.